Hello, welcome to Astrolight. This will be a collective reading. I am you, you are me, and I'm so honored that you are here. It is actually a now what moment. I normally, there is no such thing as normally for me anymore. Um, when this comes and resonates with your heart and your spirit, uh, I'm going to do, oh, a hero's journey. Now what? Now that we know that we are all that we are, and now that we are discovering and we're awakening to more of who we are, and there is no hiding the magical powers that we have within us, um, everything to do with our intuition, um, cultivating, discovering all of our spiritual gifts within us, and using all of those gifts, I say, at all moments of our day and moments of our lives, cultivating or blending, weaving, creating a tapestry. I say, Spirit, I'm going to call in our ancestors and our loved ones to give us messages for this beautiful moment in time. And if this is your first time here, I'm so honored that you found me. My heart's resonated with your heart. When I do the hero's journeys, I do a one, two, three, four, five card pick. And what we'll do is the first card be what path must we take. Second card was sacrifice must we make. Third card, what challenges or demons do we need to overcome? fourth card is what help is available for you what allies do you have if you and then the last card would be if you take any actions what is the possible outcome i know that i'm going to need to do a part two on this because whenever there's any reading and it takes such a long time i really like to sometimes put the um the card um spreads readings into two so this will be part one and what i'll do i'll pick the cards and then i'll do an intuitive channeling when the answers just speak to me i will just speak it out loud speak from my heart and i'm just going to begin and i'm going to pick each card show you the card i am working on a new brand new working on a brand new setup here <laughs> And I never know what I'm doing. I just be doing it. I guess that's the message. We just do what we know. We do what's what. Okay. Seven of Wands. C courage. Yes. 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 I think this might be the best way to see it. Courage. Seven of Wands. And that. Let me move this. And then that way I'm good. Okay. Gonna have to cut and slice. Cut and slice on that one. Okay. Not gonna begin again. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go so that card was the first card and that would be the path we must be, take and have courage and I love it all these totem poles all of those totem poles I'm gonna get oh, sometimes it's easier to have a feather to point out the pictures instead of my finger let's see what beautiful feather I'll get this one. Okay. And it would not hurt to bring it closer and closer and closer and closer. And what made me move that? Yes. Perfect. I think it's perfect. It feels perfect. Yes, okay. So we have these lovely totem poles, the ancient wisdom, knowledge. Get to the trees, seven of wands, magic, sacred magic is within us. And have courage. I was just feeling, you know, back in the days, <laughs> back in the villages, back in the, when people were coming of age and there's a ceremonies that they attended and one of them 
to become a shaman was one of the ceremonies that someone had said to become a shaman you must stay in the woods or in the woods for three three days with um little food little little water a little bit of you know just kind of like in survival and man i tell you that has never been something i've wanted to do <laughs> But do I consider myself a spiritual being, a shaman? Um, this this day and age, yes, um, I do. And it's something that we all have the ability. We all are masters within us. We all have the knowledge within us, the God within us. And it just pours through us, for us. And we just have to tap into it. And um, so that was beautiful. That So that was number... That was the first card. So the second card, what sacrifices must you make? And I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. And put to end, let something be dead. Let something, look at that beautiful. Beautiful. She's just being still, being quiet. Getting all the another ancient mask, the snake shedding its stin, skin. Then we got the fall time right now in the northwest. We're in the summer, but man, there's times and moments when you just you look at this road, road less traveled. Let things go in order to become new again, with the shedding of the stin. Some things, things have to die and they always come back in a different form. Better, newer, more alive, more mature. <laughs> uh, so the challenge, what challenge or demons do we need to overcome? So like I said, there will be definitely a part two. Eight of Cups, stagnation. Stagnation. What challenges are there even in him? Hmm. I think let the past be gone. Let the past be done. Let the past be over. Let the past be the past. Let the past be the past. Um, when things are are dying down and becoming again. We can always make a new vase. Pottery can be done again. These look like mushrooms. I love it how mushrooms, they look like, when they die down, they look so rotten, and they get to the earth, and then when they come back up, they're just brand new, brand new. Wash things away. Stagnation. Okay. So that was number... Number three... So the next one is, what help is available for you? What allies do you have? <laughs> you have the beautiful Mother Gaia. You have the women of crystals. You have the guardians. You have your angels. You have your ancestors. You have all of these beautiful crystals. This is within us. We are crystals. We have come through so much. We have been through so much. And we always come out on top. We always come out shining brightly. Wash things away. Let things go. We do have guardians. Tap into your pineal. I was just. I, I just know that this was my golden ticket for me when I opened up my pineal. When I put a, a, a crystal on my pineal, use an amethyst, I suggest. Um, whatever comes to your spirit. Um, something um, purple because our pineals are purple. Um, let's see what else is coming. You're so unique. All of these crystals are so unique. And they're not built, you know, in a day, in a moment. It takes time. So our allies are our guardians. Our guardians are our ancestors that walk through us, for us, and have left golden footprints for us. And if you, if you take any action, what is your possible outcome? This is your outcome. Six of Wands. Trust. When you overcome things and you've overcome it so many times and over and over again, and you just, there's just no way you can't trust 
There's no way when you know that you woke up in the morning, trust that we will be wake up the next morning. You trust that and you just go to sleep and you trust that tomorrow will be. Like this beautiful, is that looks like some type of instinct. I love this book that I'll read on part two because it will definitely give us each of these details. Loyalty, animals, they trust us to feed them and take care of them. When men build, when men build bridges, we have to trust to be able to drive over them and that they'll stay solid. And this is so beautiful. This is collectively we trusting each other on this journey, on this spiritual journey, this hero's journey. We had to trust each other. Trust yourself. Trust your knowing. You've come this far, baby. My brother Tiger wants to pop in. You've come this far, baby. Trust all that you have been here to accomplish will be. Take time with self. Be patient with self. Pep in with self. So I'll just go through these cards real quickly here. Um, let energy see if anything comes as I each one. So the path we must take is the warrior path, is the ancient path. It's believing that all was before us. The medicine women, the medicine men, the totem poles. I love it when I see totem poles. Someone carved these amazing, um, what do you call, sacred totem poles. And they carved them so that they would last for a lifetime so that people will treasure them. So we are treasures. We've lasted this lifetime. It is really time for us to treasure ourselves more deeply. We've come a long way, baby. Put the end to things that no longer serve your heart. What sacrifices must we... Some things that maybe we thought were real are not real. Be okay with that. Be better than okay with that. Just know that that needed to happen. That, that story needed to end so that you can begin again. So get a lot of Eight of Wands and this is the Eight of Cups. This would be the challenges. The challenge would be... There's a season, people come in our lives for a season and a reason. When you're feeling like a relationship is stagnation, sit back in that relationship and really analyze it. If it doesn't fit right in your heart, then begin somewhere new for you. If you come out of that, that moment in time and you're wanting to rebuild something, start from scratch I'm just saying, you know, or add to what you already know that could be. But stagnation is a lot of sitting in with yourself and with yourself for yourself so that you can come to be a new. It's hard to do that in the winter, summertime, but it's very important. So what help is available for you? What allies do you have? You have your guardians. You have your ancestors. They're here for us. We have crystals. These are these are like ancestors. You can consider these as ancestors. They're alive. So when you put them around your body, on your body, they will give you the frequencies that you have been needing for your body. So certain times I will wear certain earrings or a certain necklace just to bring in that energy flow of what I'm wanting to to experience like a ameth amethyst confidence um, um something like a amber i would say this would be like the kind of yellowish your solar plex so amber is a beautiful necklace i used to have but i i remembering how how rich it felt when i touched it just so earthy and so rich so the last but not least would be if you take any actions on all these cards that came, what is the possible outcome? And the possible outcome is you will have more trust and belief and faith that all that you know and all that you have been wanting is true. Namaste. 
I hope this resonates with your heart. The ancestors dance with us. They leave us golden footprints and messages. I'm always honored that you come. And join me for part two. Namaste. My heart to your heart.